templates are a great way to save time and you can use templates in OneNote as well. The way to use templates differs based on whether you're using the desktop version of OneNote or the app. Let's first look at templates in the OneNote app. Unfortunately, you do not have the option of using many different templates in the OneNote app. You can go to the view menu and add a bunch of grid lines. You can also format your text using different styles such as different headings. If you are happy with the look and feel of a page, then right click that page and choose the option to set it as a default template and you'll get a note just say yes the advantage of setting a page as a default template is that whenever you add a new page you get the same look and feel for the new pages as well if you're using the desktop version of OneNote that is OneNote 2016 then you have access to a lot more templates. If you go to the insert menu and click the arrow icon under page templates, you'll have access to a bunch of different templates with different look and feel. You can either use those templates the way they are, or you can even modify the look and feel of the existing templates and choose to save the modified pages as a new template. You can give your template a special name and you can also choose whether new pages should use this default template going forward. Now that we have saved our page as a template, let's try to add a new page. And you'll see that the default template that we saved gets applied to this new page that you have created. If you are using OneNote on a mobile device, then you might not have the option to right click the page and save it as a template. In such cases, what I recommend is that you create a page that you would like to use as a template, right click the page and create copies of the page as and when you require new pages with the same template. Templates can not only save you a lot of time in OneNote, but they can also help give your pages a uniform look and feel.